dearly beloved, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Schmidt.
wait for more, one more look right here. Yeah, yeah. Give her a kiss. Trip over her veil.
now we stand with Michael and Felicia on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So, let us support them with our affection and our friendship and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the Word of God who speaks to us today and then with the Holy Church let us humbly pray to God our Father through Christ our Lord for this couple his servants that he lovingly accept them bless them and make them always one the two shall become one for Michael and Felicia you have done great planning for this day and praise God we have made it to August 10th 2019 with great joy and not a little planning and all of the decorating and all of the actions that are part of planning for the celebration of the wedding for August 10th and the good Lord having brought you both together calls you for a plan of life to join with one another. We stop and praise God that he has joined you together so that you may arrive at this day before his altar. I, Michael, take you, Felicia, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. I, Felicia, take you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Felicia, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Michael, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Dearly beloved, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Schmidt. Kiss the bride. Boy meets girl and the world stops turning. She makes him forget all the rules he was learning. They give a toss to the ones who never stop hoping.
of our bride. Please welcome Dominica DeCoco, escorted by her son, Johnny DeCoco. Johnny and Dominica. All right, now we have a special song for Michael's grandmother. which is not that one. How about this one? Please welcome Grandmother of the Groom, 
Virginia Schmidt, escorted by her son, David Schmidt. Virginia and David. I heard a very good source told me that's Virginia's favorite song right here. Huge Lil John fan. All right, folks, give a big welcome to the parents of our beautiful bride. Give a big welcome to Frank and Rosa Campanella. Frank and Rosa. Next, I want to welcome parents of our groom. That's right, another one bites the dust. Please welcome Rick and Deb Schmidt. Rick and Deb. Hey, Rick and Deb, maybe we should rename that Another Son Bites the Dust. This is son number two. Next, we want to welcome, we're not really sure how this is going to go here. Junior bridesmaid, Madeline McGill, Jordan Iyer, and junior groomsman, Isaac Banowitz. Please welcome bridesmaid Kelly Vogel with groomsman John Booth. All right, keep that applause going for Kayla Struffolino and Christopher Boone. All right, we're going to try to pump you up here. Bridesmaid Amanda Sewell and groomsman Brandon Mink. Amanda and Brandon. Come on, folks, put those hands together. Please welcome bridesmaid Nicole Thomasone and Mr. Jake Gavin. Nicole and Jake. Oh, nice. Oh! Please welcome bridesmaid Danielle Thomasone and groomsman Stephen Fox. Danielle and Stephen. Keep that applause going for bridesmaid Rachel DeCoco and groomsman Daniel DeCoco. All right, Dan, easy, Dan, easy, Dan. Please welcome bridesmaid Antonia Picarillo and groomsman Jordan Flores. Antonia and Jordan. Next, we have Diana DeCoco and groomsman Daniel Grady. Diana and Daniel. Please wake, welcome bridesmaid Anna Maria Iyer with Kirish Iyer and Noel, our flower girl. Noel, Anna Maria, and Kirish. Next, we have bridesmaid Christina McGill and groomsman Anthony Banowitz.
next, please welcome bridesmaid Valerie Schmidt with groomsman and best man Alex Schmidt. Please welcome our maid of honor and best man this evening. Give it up for Suzanne Piccarillo and Billy Schmidt. All right, so we have one of our very many special surprises for you folks tonight. Before we welcome in our happy couple, I want to turn everybody's attention to our two video screens that are dropped down, and we have a very special video presentation for you. Michael and I met online. He messaged me um, at the end of the year and I think 2015. We're on a dating site called OkCupid and uh, I sent her the first message. It took me a couple weeks to get back to him. It took her about a month to respond. And then we talked a little bit and then it took me a couple more weeks to get back to him. And uh, we chatted a little bit over the course of a couple months. Then we finally started messaging. We decided to finally uh, meet up on uh, New Year's Eve, 2015. First date, it was pretty good. Um, she trusted me to pick her up. She was at a friend's house, um, and I brought a bottle of water, made sure it was not um, already opened, that she would think I was drugging her or something. And we went to the local in Saratoga. Saw the uh, um, countdown for New Year's. We kind of hit it off really well. Um, he was the same way that I thought he was when we were messaging before. And then went outside, saw some fireworks, and had our first kiss. So I proposed to Felicia by bringing her back up to where we had our first date at the local, but I wanted to put a little twist on it. So I, uh, I coordinated with her family and my family. We went out to dinner with his parents and my grandmother and my parents, and we went to a place in Saratoga. Taverna Novo, and then from there, everyone parted ways. She kind of had a, a feeling that maybe something was gonna happen, and then when everyone left, she got uh, a little moody, I would say. Um, I told her, let's just go for a walk, maybe get some ice cream. It was really hot, and I was like, I, I really don't have an interest, but okay, I'll go. She was not very happy. Um, and then uh, I took her for a walk around the block. And then we went back to the place that where we first, the first night that we went to the local. I said to her, do you remember what this was? This is where we had our first date. And um, that's when I got down on one knee and our family came out and started videotaping. And he proposed. Michael was the one because he, um, just his sense of humor. I probably knew Felicia was the one when she invited me over and her family accepted me even though I'm not Italian. He's always making me laugh even when I'm the most mad. <laughs> She's such an easygoing person. She's fun. She laughs. She laughs at me, which I can be kind of silly sometimes. He can make me laugh instantly. But to, to be serious, um, just Growing, growing with her and learning more about her and seeing you know, everything about her from her family to herself, the way she got along with my family. Um, just a, such a beautiful person. He understands me, he loves me, and it's mutual. <laughs> a couple things I would be most excited about with the wedding. Um, First thing's gonna be in the church when I look and see Felicia walking down the aisle. I'm so excited to um, officially be Michael's wife. I just can't wait to see how beautiful she looks. And second to that, I can't wait for the reception to celebrate with all of her family and friends. And be there with the people that we most love and cherish, our friends, family. I can't wait to celebrate with them. I just can't wait to go through life with him. Starting a family 
to starting a family with him, to having him um, be by my side forever. <laughs> he's, he's my best friend. He's the person that I can't wait to see the most at the end of the day. You know, just really grow and, you know, see where the future takes us. We've gone through so much together. It's, it's been an awesome ride. All right, folks, I'm going to ask you all to please stand up. We have one more introduction. The reason that we are all here, folks. Give them a big welcome. Let's hear for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Michael Schmidt. Alicia and Michael. Come on, put those hands together, everybody. I can't hear you. You know the words? You guys know the words? someone who has such a unique old soul like Felicia you know I've known her since the day she was born and came squawking into my life you know which she never stopped doing for the next 30 years and probably never will stop doing you know uh, we had the privilege of growing up like sisters um, thick as thieves with the rest of our cousins and our friends and it took a village to raise this girl. And as you can see by this amazing head table, it took a village to get her married to. And, you know, thankfully God had a plan. It was written in the stars. And Mike, Mike was out there. And uh, he, he came into her world and he actually exceeded all expectations. Uh, he has encouraged her to be her best self yet. And, you know, she in turn encourages him to be the same. You know, that you are made for each other. Um, no one else could actually put up with either one of you as well as you put up with each other. It's, uh, it's just very true. And um, I love you both. I'm very excited, so excited for the next episodes and the reality show that will be your life together. The newest, newest Schmitz on the block. Now, before Felicia was around, there's always been three things besides our family that Mike has loved. Now, with that in mind, this brings me to the moment that I knew Mike loved Felicia. It was a Sunday morning in the fall. Now, you should all know a few things about that statement. It was Sunday, which is the best day of the week for couch sitting. There, it was you know, a day during the year, so there was cheese to be eaten. And, and it was fall, so the Panthers were playing. So I texted Mike and asked him what he was doing. Silly question, I know. He was sitting on the couch eating cheese. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to watch the games later. He said, I can't. Now, normally I would just leave it at that, but I decided to ask him, why not? But what Mike said was, I can't because I'm going to watch my girlfriend bowl. So he was not only giving up the best couch sitting day there is, but also Panthers football. And if we're being honest, he probably had mozzarella sticks at the bowling alley. <laughs> But still, he gave that all up for the worst spectator sport in the world. <laughs> no, knowing Mike, it really took someone special for him to do that for. And that's how I knew it was real, true love. I want to take you guys back to when Mike and Felicia first met. It was the 2015-2016 football season. And it was a special season for Mike. 
You see, the Panthers ended up in the Super Bowl that year. You can imagine my surprise when I logged into Facebook one day and saw not his latest post about the Panthers, but a status update that he was in a relationship with Felicia. And it was then that I suspected she might be the one. Mike and Felicia, it's been a pleasure to watch the two of you fall in love together. I really admire the special kind of love you share. It's one that's based on all the important things to be sure. Generosity, patience, kindness, respect for each other. But infused throughout it all is an overflowing amount of laughter and fun. And of course, sparkles for Felicia. As the two of you begin the new chapter of your lives together, I want to say that I think it's your silly antics and ability to make each other and those around you laugh so easily that makes me proud to call you both now my siblings. With that, I have only one thing left to say. Felicia, I think it's just about time for Mike's daily dose of cheese, and so from now on, I'll let you bring it to him. Uh, I just wanted to say a few words about this unity candle. The outside candles, they represent the individual families that were separated before this wonderful sacrament that you guys performed today. Um, the two separate candles before the wedding, they could easily be separated, extinguished, and forgotten. All right, these two, these two separate families will forevermore be intertwined by the vows that Felicia and Michael just took. May you two set forth a blaze that will last for eternity. Now once lit, these candles continue burning for one hour to represent one entire lifetime of commitment, of lasting and loving marriage. Would the bride and groom please take their candles and light their unity candles? How about a round of applause for eternity? Tiger, defying the laws of gravity. I'm a racing car. 